All right, so as of right now, <coughs> Arena kind of leans against the cart um, and sort of starts brooding absentmindedly. She's kind of going between biting one finger and twirling her hair, like, nervously. Uh, Yag is kind of just leaning, sitting down against the, uh, uh, against the stone, just out of range of, like, some of the smoke billowing out of the burning windmill, uh, uh, that's kind of raising into the air. Uh, and Hildy is kind of, she's just kind of walking down the street, and anytime anybody approaches her, she holds her hand up in the air, and she goes, I just need a minute. Give me a minute. And she's, uh, uh, you kind of notice her, she's kind of slipping between laughter and uh, a brooding sort of demeanor as she walks down, down the hill. Cool. Well, and I, um, I think I just, uh, Yogg had helped me and the kids get up All right. um, cool. from that cliff. So oh, yes. I hadn't even seen Arena. I didn't see any anything that happened with any of that oh that is right yeah you yeah. didn't so yeah so i think and yeah so yag had like helped us up i think at the end and we saw that guy we saw that uh yes and a uh, guy on a horse yeah guy on a horse he had a knight uh well you saw a guy on a horse um he was a knight with a, a shield and a big sword and he pulled his sword out of his hip and pointed it at you nyla and then disappeared into the forest yeah did I, was it far away it's too far away to see like what was on the shield uh yes it was probably okay. if you had to probably about a quarter of a mile okay cool um so i guess i would go over i would like kind of be guiding the kids over to where everyone else is um, with the sounds of chance kind of arguing with Irina as you get a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you kind of walk up on the tail end of that. Um, so what was Zana up to while all that was occurring? Uh, Zana was a part of that conversation. Um, however, she was also consoling the child that Irina was protecting. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the child um, obviously has a big lump on its head from where uh, Magatha struck it to kind of try and keep it quiet and still uh, at uh, Baby Snatcher Nyla's approach. Baby Snatcher. Are you a fool? The kid looks up at you and says, Pretty. Yeah, I know Irina is. But are, are you okay? Are you hurt in any way? He's pointing at you. Huh? <laughs> I immediately get flustered, and I, I don't know what to do, but I I, I kind of, like, brush it off a little bit. Uh, are, are, are you okay? Hurt. And he puts his hand on his head. Okay. And, and when I cast Cure Wounds, so <laughs> All right. That's fine. You don't, You can roll it if you want, but it's not important. He's not going to I'm not going to roll it. But, yeah, he, he, he kind of... Uh, he blinks a little bit and, and his eye and his eyes kind of glaze over as his headache goes away and he goes all better and then he looks at you again and he smiles and he goes kiss it pretty lady better <laughs> I, I I'll like pat his head <laughs> alright he, he kind of starts to doze off at this point, like he's kind of getting sleepy, uh, you're healing of him, um, and the fact that he's obviously been through an ordeal. Um, again, the children that Nyla come up with, the little girl seems normal, the little boy just, he seems like a parrot. He is mirroring everything the little girl does, but in a very uh, golem-like way. Yeah. So I, I guess I just, I come up, I, I think I caught, yeah, the tail end of the argument and I will be like, guys, that was crazy. That was, okay, so we have all the kids. How's that kid? Is, is that kid okay? Oh, yes, he's, he's managing much better. Okay. Uh, are you all right? Really 
Mm-hmm. You fell pretty far down there. Are you alright? Oh. oh, you saw that, yeah. Um, I'm fine. I kind of heard it. What? I kind of more so heard it and saw oh. it. Oh, yeah. Thanks for healing me. I'm fine. It's embarrassing. Um, I do have one more spell that I can cast to heal you if you're still hurting. Better um, you hold it, I think. Yeah. Uh oh, here we go. Who's this? There oh, she Jenny! is. <laughs> Can't hear her though. I see her thing like that. I can see her. She's her mic's hot, but nothing's going. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So Chance is uh, as he's kind of like he's separated from Irina for a bit and kind of gave her some space. He's kind of pacing around. Um. Uh, this is, if I remember correctly, this is like in the afternoon. Right? Can you guys hear me? There we go. Yes. Yes. I'm so sorry, guys. It's all good. You're only a half hour late. I'm fine. Um, I'm fine. Sorry. It's all good. You, I went you, to after. It's fine. I uh, I did take uh, three levels from you, so you're down to level one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're fine. Don't be mean. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, what this, I mean, so this is I'm still sorry. daytime, right? I think we're just, we'll catch we're up just in a second. I think we're still in the morning, though. Yeah, still actually, morning, yeah, guys. yeah. Like, you guys have just woken up. Yep. Daylight. All right, um, kind of still groggily, Chance is going to go over and then, like, look at the uh, the cart that this old lady had and kind of throw off the tarp on the top of it. Okay, yeah, there's there's pastries on it. There's actually some regular fruit and things like that. Most of it's sliced. Uh, you do see a couple of uh, uh, concoctions, what appear to be concoctions uh, in it, like, very similar to some of the stuff you saw in the building. Uh, you do see... Uh, would appear to be several slices of raw meat as well, uh, on, on, in like a bowl, but, uh, there's also, uh, kind of like this weird, uh, canvasy fabric that you assume is meant to hold in, uh, uh, heat, and there is some, uh, heat stones in there to kind of give, uh, uh, an oven type thing going, but they're all cool right now. All right, well... He's gonna take all the pastries and just like with his hand, just scoop them onto the ground, just like dumping the cart. He's gonna like he'll keep like the bottles and the heat stones and stuff, but he's gonna try to just generally empty the cart and look it over and see if the wheels move just fine and if it's something that can be pushed. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's it's actually a little ru- rusty and rickety, but once you dump everything off of it, it moves pretty easily. You're actually kind of surprised that uh, well, now that you know what she is, you're not as surprised. But you're actually a bit surprised that a, a, a much older woman was able to push that cart with such ease, especially over terrain. Just so, just so I can. See where I am. How long has it been sh- since uh, Hildy just killed the hag? About six seconds. Like what I had cool. Hildy do was she she kind of snapped. She finished. Um, so Yag had pulled uh, Nyla up from the and the kids up from the ground. Uh, they were walking right. down to converse, and I what I had Hildy do was kind of walk past, cut eyes of everybody, and just say, "Just give me a minute. I just need a minute," and that was it. Okay, cool. So what would Hildy be doing? She's gonna go back to the group. Still. Still kind of trying to wipe the blood off her with her cloak and maybe some water from water skin. And uh, she's going to get closer to uh, Irina. What is she doing? Uh, Irina is kind of just uh, sitting there. She steps off as uh, as Coleman uh, empties the cart. She was leaning against the cart and she looks back and she's uh, watching him do it. But she seems lost in thoughts and she's twirling her... Um, her hair and her fingers. She's actually staring at Coleman. Uh, she's actually staring at, at, at Coleman Chance quite quite a bit right now. She's looking at him as he's kind of doing his thing, almost like she's just kind of lost in some kind of daydream while staring at him. So where have you been? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Are you okay? What do you look like a mess? What happened to you? She says, I, I don't rightfully remember everything. It, I, I thought I was dreaming, to be quite honest. 
until I found myself walking down a hill to an empty campsite. And you were all up here, about to start a fight with these, are about to be attacked by these evil women. So you were daydreaming? You were, uh, you were sleepwalking or something? I, uh, it, uh, it seemed that way, but now that I am fully awake, I, I do not think it was a dream at all. And she kind of drifts off and starts twirling her, her hair and her fingers. Again. We don't exactly have time to be worrying about dreams. It's daylight and we've got some travel to do. Plus, I think with burning this mill, we've caught the attention of some unsavory fellows. Oh, we might have caught the attention of someone interesting. Don't know if they're unsavory. There was some night guy that waved to me with his sword over and there. And I point. Yeah. Right. I don't know what Get it means. The kids, we're moving now. Okay, well, can we hold on? Because poor Rena is wearing just a shirt. She needs some clothes or something, and everyone's cut up. I thought you were all Mr. I want to sleep right now. And we then need to get these kids to safety. Yeah, oh, I agree. But. And it ain't I, anywhere I around here, so I'll go a little tired if it means we get on the moon. Perfect. And so she brightens, because before he was. You know, complaining a lot about sleeping. So, um, I'm gonna like start digging through my bag and like finding clothes and like pulling them out and be like, do you want this one or this color or I have this color? I don't like giving her options. Uh, my, such fancy clothing. Betty and types, we are so, I'm so used to such plain, uh, black or white or very drab colors. So she'll probably, I would, I would say that she probably takes something that's still classy, yet uh, loose fitting and uh, sensual at the same time, if that makes sense. And what, what was the last word you said? Like sensual, something that can be sexy and classy at the same time. You can like move around it. Yes. Type of thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, I might have something. Something like that. Maybe not quite up to what she'd want, but it works, so I give it to her. All right, so she you gets just, You can just keep it. Just don't worry about it. She goes and, and turns the cart to where the, the boys can't see, I guess, and she kind of ducks down behind it and starts getting dressed. Um, Chance is going to look over the, uh, the, the the crew, and I guess the, <laughs> uh, the, the three kids? Yeah, there are mm -hmm. three. Gonna kind of speak aside to like Nyla and Zana. You think they can move? We've got a bit of travel ahead of us, and I don't want to be held up. We've got well, a card if you think they're better to be riding. Or we could just, I mean, they're a little, we could carry them. It's not a big deal. I mean, if they get tired, right? Or do you think a cart? Uh, the cart, cart would be, be okay. Nice, but it might well, one tracks too. seems to actually be a little dazed, but is, I don't know, he acts really strange. No, I know that. That worries me. I mean, he can walk though, so like, I don't think walking will be a problem. Better we take them walking then. But they did keep wandering off, so we just have to make sure to keep an eye on them. Well, should we ask them where they're from? Oh, that's yeah. Why didn't I think of that? That's so smart, son. <laughs> I turn to the children and I ask them individually, "Where are you? Where are you from?" The little girl says. Barovia village. Oh, shit. Are you all from Barovia village? Yes. Well, I don't know about him, but I believe that is where the older woman would get the children. The parents would, uh, our parents would give us to them. Well, oh, your blood? Your parents gave you to her? Well, yes, they, they, they give to us, they, they have sometimes too many mouths to feed, but the old oh, the women, they have plenty of food. So they, our parents let us go with them to be fed, and the old women also give our parents and my brothers and sisters more food. I am, I am uh, Mildred. Hi, Mildred. Mildred. This is my little brother, Freak. Freak. Okay. Freak. F it's a very unfortunate name. Freak. Oh, like. that is so sad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <that's> <laughs> Poor baby. Let's rename him. 
<laughs> Aww. Okay. Well, it's nice. It's nice to meet you both. I do not know who that one is. The, the one that's sleeping and suckling his thumb. That's a that's a really little one, right? Uh, I think he's like two. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Millie. We're gonna take you somewhere else, all right? Somewhere that's got plenty of mouths to be feeding and no fire. So follow us, keep close, and we'll be safe and no problem, eh? You look I like know. the bad man that that, that, that that come to our village and 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 make Mama go stay out all night. I don't like you. I not go with you. And she kind of starts huh? crying. And then the little boy, uh, Freak, kind of watches her for a minute, and she kind of starts... <laughs> and then out of nowhere, he just, like, again, Gollum, like, is... <laughs> uh, watching wait, her. What, what's wrong? Why, why are you upset now? He make Mama go with him. And, and Mama come back, she happy, but Papa not happy. Uh, who? I think he's him. Just... And she points at uh, Chance. What? Look now. <laughs> Papa say you what? reason we have too many mouths to feed. Uh, maybe someone who looked like me. Uh, although I can't say I haven't. Maybe lots of issues in the past. <laughs> Look, that's not... Come, come around now, boy. You've not seen me before. I've not seen you or your mum. Right out of, kind of out of nowhere, almost interrupting, almost eerily, uh, Arena, who's been staring off into space. My chance to fight the ladies, man, are we? She says teasingly, and then she starts <laughs> staring back off into space. Now I don't have to, if it was true. <laughs> <laughs> but now like, this is just slander. I know, I want to do I was just about to do that. Go right ahead. Insight, insight. Like, I, I know from, like, that he's been pretty pretty just so far but there's just a part of me that just needs a confirmation i i agree i was thinking the same thing oh man i think i started the first of the actual inner party conflicts what are you up to right now Hild hildegard while this exchange is going on she's just watching with her arms uh, folded can you guys hear me yeah i yeah, got you yeah yeah She, is she, what, what, what's her demeanor? Is she... she... Alright. Oh, <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> you guys are like... You guys are thinking... <laughs> he is definitely not a ladies man. Well, you might not know that, but you're definitely thinking, huh? He's telling the truth. Like, he did, he's never seen this kid's mother before. So, probably all that spark of confirmation, I kind of turn to the, the, the little boy who's crying now, and then I say, It's okay. I don't... He's actually a really nice man. I don't think he's the man that you're thinking. The little boy looks over at his sister, almost like he's looking for confirmation. But she looks back at the, the boy, and she kind of... she. She kind of settles down a little bit and says, just, just, if, if he stays away from us and you say he is safe, I will be okay with going with you. I promise you that he will not do anything to hurt you. Okay, where, where will you take us? Well, we were originally going to Vulaki. Would you be fine going there? It's much safer than the village of Barovia. So I hear. I suppose so. And then she kind of uh, uh, looks down at her feet. She goes, I, I do not think Mama and Papa would want us to come back anyway. Do, do, do you think there will be a new Mama and Papa in Velaki? Uh, maybe. We'll, we'll find someone that will take good care of you. Okay. Don't don't worry. We won't just. Uh, you're we'll kind make of gathering sure that, she, okay. that she has that wide-eyed exuberance of kids, that kind of hopefulness. Uh, 
the world, even though she's kind of lived a rough life, a very poor existence up to this point, she's still, um, she's still not uh, broken by the world around her as of yet. So she's she's kind of uh, smiling and and giving you guys that wide-eyed uh, 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 positivity that uh, is common among children. Um, yeah, so, yeah, Nyla will just be like, yeah, like, we're, we'll take, just stick with us for now. And if you don't feel comfortable with this guy over here, that's fine. You can just, you can just hang out with us. <laughs> See, look, do you want a, do you want a pretty ring? I have, you know, all my gaudy Vistani rings. Oh, is you that, one? is that the real diamond? Please. That's uh, some kind of zirconia piece of crap. <laughs> well, well I, pretend it's a real diamond. I like to play pretend. I, yeah, yeah. When I was smaller, I tried to play pretend, and Mama always told me this world would not allow for that. She kind of gets sad again, and you see tears welling in her eyes. And she takes the ring, and she puts it on her finger, and she smiles from ear to ear, and it's like she's crying from happiness. So you feel kind of good oh. about uh, making this this little girl um, uh, realize that it's okay to be a little kid sometimes. Yeah, I got some more fuzzies. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, she'll she'll say like, yeah, you can you can pretend it's fine. Sometimes adults don't know what they're talking about. Yes, I, I can see that. I say that all the time, but then they they beat me and tell me I'm wrong. Well, that's also wrong of them to do that. She looks like pretty huffy. And kind of like glares off at nothing Maybe in particular. Maybe just trust your gut then, eh? Do what mm -hmm. you want to now. No one's telling you. Certainly not your mum. Uh, her and Freak kind of bury their faces and ears like they're they're tugging at uh, Nyla's. Uh, well, and so Freak's kind of tugging at Zana's. Uh, uh, lower uh, like skirt part I, I don't know what skirt dress whatever you call it and then uh, the girl's kind of trying to bury her face in uh, Nyla's dress uh, to ignore Chance as he starts to speak like they're terrified <laughs> of him if you want to wear that pretty damn ring then do it and do it because you want to and no one else told you otherwise now Here come on go. let's get a move on so Yog kind of walks up to everybody at this point, and, and he's got, he's huffing and carrying his cauldron. He's still got blood dripping out of his mouth. He goes, well, I was able to heat this up by the fire. It might make us all, <laughs> and blood spurts out all over the place. Oh, feel feel a little bit better. First and try to recover. And the, it's kind of funny because the kids actually, they, the little girl, her eyes get real big. Green man, so handsome. And then she kind of dances around him and they start singing some weird too. <laughs> the big green man, he saves us from evil, the big. And then the little boy sing <laughs> just some kind of really ridiculous, like made up on the spot kid song where they're terrified of this small kind of half, half elf, uh, half human. Uh, looking person they're not scared of this giant uh green monster covered in battle wounds and death <laughs> yeah i think i think most of us are actually kind of worse for the wear I think we're all looking a little yeah rough. yeah yep. um besides we're supposed to be waiting here for for isma well the plans yes. have changed isma. we're Wait. not waiting around what are oh. What are you afraid is going to happen? We're moving to Velocity. Whatever found us is going to find us again. And there's a man down there, as Nyla was saying, who knows we're here too. We've oh, got yeah, that's to true. keep moving. I think we should take a short rest. At the very least. And then we move. Maybe At least yards, yeah, there is. get around the bend a bit, find some patches in the forest, and then figure it out. But we've that's got to right. move out of here. Okay. okay. That's fine. Can you at least leave one of those notes for Ismark? He kind of looks back and stares at like the big burning building. <laughs> and he just like, um, <laughs> I know that might be an understatement, <laughs> but 
I'll leave some. And uh, I guess Chance will go over maybe to like one of the, like a placard nearby or something, or if there's like. Actually, he'll look and. Do we want to take this car or leave it? Um, I guess I'll ask the kids, like, are you guys okay walking or are, are you not feeling good because of being with those. Well, the one little boy is, is sleeping, and uh, mm -hmm. the other little boy is just looking at his sister. And she goes, we can, we can walk, I suppose, if you don't mind if we skip. Oh, of course you can skip. Then uh, Chance will carve with his knife, he'll carve a little sign into the, uh, into the wagon itself. Like, just kind of onto the side. And it says, kind of like, moving right. I think we're gonna go up that way. All right. Everybody is um, centered on the token, correct? Yes. Yeah. I don't see. Now yeah, I do. That did it. All right. So. All um, right. I guess so as like chances is, is kind of like doing the uh, marking, I would be like, uh, Hildy, uh, okay. I like uh, wipe a little bit of blood, probably that she missed, like off her face. <laughs> She's gonna gently push your hand away from her face. I'm. Just what? Needed a moment. Sorry. Can you see me? Okay. That's it. I. I I, I don't. I hate hikes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I noticed. I just met one, but no, I've decided I've hated them. <laughs> I don't like them either. It's not my first account. Oh. Really? Well, them. Personal things, but not... So, uh, what was... Were they doing kind of the same things they were doing here? Is that what they all do? I am starting to see a pattern, but there were children involved. Where I used to live. Just she she looks a little uh, she looks a little uncomfortable. She's looking back at the will. Yeah, she, she just looks like a, a bunch of things just coming back to her. And uh, Chance is gonna just kind of step up and like put a hand on her shoulder. Come on, Ellie. Let's get a bit of travel away from this spot before we contemplate our past. She starts. She starts what? I'm sorry, you cut out? She starts walking. All right. Uh, Yag says, right then, I suppose it's breakfast on the move again. And he, he's kind of reaching in a cauldron. Yag and I cast your wounds on him. <laughs> All right, go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll it, please. I got to add it to him. He's at one hit point, so. <laughs> oh, God. Thanks much. Actually, I'm going to... Uh, Hildy's going to walk by. She's going to do the same. All right. Go ahead and hit that for me, please. Like, you see her walk away, stop, turn back, see that he's really hurt, and just go, ah, shit. Just go back. Yeah, you guys saw him. I mean, he took the full force of the lightning bolt. Uh, he was stunned, everything. You saw these hags just give him everything, even paralyzed through most of the combat. And at the end of it, all, he, he could barely hold his axe, and he stood there without retreating. And uh, at the end, he's spitting blood at one of them's face, saying, you thought you were tougher than me. Um, and so because complain. I have to do a, a touch for cure wounds, I probably go up to him, heal him, and then I say, you're really strong, Yogg. I want you to know that. You're really incredible. Well, 
say the same thing about my cooking and uh, I'll I'll take it as a compliment. Otherwise, <laughs> I'll only take it as half a compliment. Well, your cooking is also really good too. And yeah. then I smile at him. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. And he kind of, uh, I don't think you guys have ever really seen him grin where he was out of his, uh, um, out of when he wasn't in one of his rages. So he just kind of nods and moves on. Starts walking. Thank you both. All right, so you guys get to uh, about here, which is about um, about a half a mile. You go down the path and you're moving along. You pick up the remnants of your camping gear. Uh, you get to about there and the kids are whining. Uh, how much farther is it? You know, it's probably a good ways. Um, you get to about here and the, the other toddler, he seems to be all right. He seems to be, um, he's awake now. And he's kind of wandering off. You guys have to chase after him every once in a while. Uh, the the little girl is whining. She'll go, how much further? And then the little boy will look at her and just echo her, how much further? So it's kind of like a, a double high-pitched squealing echo as you guys are moving along. I would be like, when they start getting whiny, I would be trying to distract them. And like every time they'd start whining, I'd, I'd either like show them something like, in my bag to like look at or like tell them about something or ask them a question like each time just trying to like get their mind off of that they're tired or whatever all right so instead of telling them uh well here you go here's some brandy and knocking them unconscious no! you, uh, oh my God, you, no! you, 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 that's what they did in the, in the middle ages they would give the kids booze <laughs> knock them out <laughs> let that decision be ours <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, the, the kids, uh, so you're doing a good job. I'll tell you what, take an inspiration for doing your best to placate the children uh, uh, along right. the way. Thanks. Okay. All right, so you guys get to hear your, you can see the forest on the, uh, on the edge. Um, based on, hold on, did you guys ever buy a map? You guys did not get a map, did you? Nope. Uh, all right. At one point, I thought Ismark had one. Maybe not. Ismark? Yeah, I don't think he. I don't think he did. I think you guys left without getting one. But anyway, um, uh, Arena says, "I have not been here much, uh, uh, but I, I think if we shortcut through the forest, we, we could get to the uh, uh, straight through. We could get to Old Svalich Road, which is the same road we are on. We would cut our travel by a day." and be in Velaki by supper time. It's worth taking a chance. Besides, then we might be able to throw our followers just for a bit. Um, do, did we need, did we want to try and rest or this be a good spot? Let's get a little bit into the woods first, then we'll settle down. Okay. You guys have only been traveling for a few hours. It's, each one of these hexes is about a uh, I think it's a quarter of a mile, so um, you, you, you know it's not. It's a, it's only the only reason that it's taken so long is because you're kind of in on mountainous trails and it's winding in and out. But uh, you, you've gone a good distance. Um, you guys are going to opt to move into the forest. Yeah, I think let's move into the forest and kind of set up a camp for like a lunch, or lunch and kind of like a small hour rest or so. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys move into the forest, um, and uh, you guys are going to set up for a short rest, I take it? Yes. Yeah. All right. Let or do me we want to set up for, like, a long rest and just camp the night in the woods for a bit? I don't know. I mean, we can. It has not been long enough yet. The only person okay. who could do a long rest would be you. Gotcha. Then we'll short rest. Well, no, I can do a, a long rest with my four hours. What what happened is, is like you can only do one long rest every uh, in, once every 24 hours. So you'd have to be 16 more hours as of right now. It's technically only been about four hours since you initially woke up. Hmm. 
since I gave everybody their long rest, except for Chance last time. Uh, yeah, you guys have only been traveling a little while, so he'd okay. be the only one that could benefit from it. You can take it if you want to let him benefit from it. That's up to you. Good. Chance is fine with a smaller rest. I, I guess uh, Yogg's going to actually roll. Go ahead and roll one more for Yag. Thirteen. All right. So Yag is Yag. Actually, it does Yag a world of good. He's eating. Um, is anybody going to eat any of Yag's food? Almost definitely. I will. I will. I will. All right. Roll me a D eight. You do not want a seven or an eight. I need, uh, actually, I'll tell you what. Yeah, everybody roll me a 7 or a D8. I got an 8. <laughs> a D8? Yep. All right. Uh, all right, so let me roll one for Yog. All right, so um, now let me get... Uh, who got the lowest number? Zana? Uh, no. And Hildegard. Uh, Alright, so Hildegard, roll um, roll me a d6, please. Do you want me to roll one, too? One, two, three. Alright, so for anybody who uh, eats Yogg's stuff, no, you don't need to roll one as well. Anybody who eats Yogg's stuff, except for Nyla, uh, any anything requiring uh, charisma, any charisma checks, uh, <laughs> any anything requiring charisma, gets uh, advantage for the next twenty four hours. Uh, Nyla, you yes. actually you're eating it and it doesn't really agree with you, so you get disadvantage on charisma. <laughs> charisma checks. Charisma, anything char charisma related check bar. Right. So okay. performance persuasion. Jesus. Yeah, I actually decided to write my own little set of rules Yag. Yag's, uh, around Yogg's cooking. Oh, that's nice. so funny. I, I dig it. I dig it. Yogg's here, guys. Hi, Yogg. Yag. Um, during the short rest, can I also do like a nature check for the, the plants around us? Because I probably haven't seen these type of trees before. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Go right in. Thank you. Fifteen. Uh, these are standard, like, uh, it's a very, you're used to seeing a particular type of wood in the forest, uh, like mm -hmm. pine forest or um, all oak or redwood or anything like that. What you're actually catching is that in these woods, it's all kinds of trees. You might see a smattering of pine here and there, but right next to it would be an oak, uh, like normal woods. But again, where you're from, they're all, uh, they all tend to grow uh, much more segregated. Do these trees look healthy? Ah, uh, you know what? Uh, what's your rebel 15? Um, yeah. yeah, I'd say that they, they don't. They look like they're kind of stuck in between um, uh, fall and winter. So some of them leaves are on, some of them leaves are half on, some of them aren't. Uh, it just looks like they, they're kind of perpetually stuck in this uh, uh, one place. And then even some of the trees are dead. I don't remember that. Is there a... Is there water somewhere? Like... Uh, not, not right now. No. You do not... There are no creeks, no streams, no otherwise. All right. Do you voice? Do you actually voice that you're looking for water? Uh, no, I just looked. Okay. Uh, chance. Roll me a perception check. Okay. 
Um, all right, so yeah, you guys finish your short rest. Yeah, you might notice you're up to just two hit points shy of uh, Max. I think I had you roll two, maybe three. Um, I hit dice. It'll say it on your sheet. And um, yeah, all right. For a short, short rest. Because you were at one hit point, and how I role played it was you kind of came out with food and, and choked, and the uh, the gals hit, healed you, and then you guys moved on. So the kids, uh, they they kind of mm, yummy green men make good food. Yeah, and it just doesn't seem to agree with you, Nala. All right, so yeah. what are you guys doing? Um, Chance has definitely been keeping an eye out around and making sure that we're not followed. Same. Uh, he's kind of like loading like a light crossbow. And he's kind of, he's kind of more like he's keeping watch than anything. All right, cool. Um, while you guys are resting, uh, I'll leave you three to role play. Four of you to role play. I need Nyla to jump into clandestine for me. Okay. Hi. You go into one of your trances, and you can't really move, and you feel this hand on your shoulder and that familiar voice that you hear. You can see everybody, but it's almost like they're okay. sort of frozen in place. Um, hi. It's been a while. It took me a while to find you, my dear. What, are, are you back now? Officially? Well... It is much harder for me to follow you in this place. Much harder for me to find you. But when I do, I have moments where I can talk to you. Hmm. You should know this. I do not know where your love is here. I knew it. I do not know where. I do not even know if he breathes, but he is here. All that I can tell you now, learn as much as you can. For one much more dark and powerful than me resides here. And is why I'm so, I have so much trouble finding you. Are you talking about Strahd? I do not know. Okay, I can only well, that see might the be darkness. Strahd. Hmm. Yeah. Instead of learning things about people, Learn as much as you can about this Strahd. And from the darkness that I inhabit, I will do my best to be certain you are reunited with your love. Okay, I can agree to that. Strahd's that a, a jerk anyway. That is a deal. Hey, uh, what's this, uh, all this weird crap that's happening with my hands and things shooting out of it? Is that, that was you? <laughs> and then whoop you're like sucked back to normal time <laughs> okay good to hear what you said did she tell you that no all she told us was that she uh, she couldn't remember much and uh, I might have been a little bit hard on her and she you know, she wasn't forthcoming Maybe that wasn't the best approach. But my point was, is that she definitely made it look like she was still at the camp. If she were kidnapped, that wouldn't have been easy. So right as, um, as you're kind of explaining that to everybody, you guys kind of notice like a zombie like Nyla kind of wandering up to you, Chance, and she bumps into you, like with her mouth hanging open. A little drool kind of drips down on your shoulder, and then she blinks, and Nyla, you, you see yourself kind of, Rubbing up against Chance, kind of awkwardly, as uh, he's telling what? this story. Really? Yep. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Is that drool? Like, <laughs> close your mouth, you slack jaw waitress. <laughs> what? Are you doing? <laughs> sorry. Okay, I just like I, I like wipe my mouth. Like, oh, I'm um, sorry. Sorry, I'm good. I like hurry over and I like go sit down. What the hell was that? I blindsided the shit out of Nala with that one, guys. That was fun. <laughs> Are you okay, Uh, yep. I'm great. Did you just drool Thanks. on my shoulder? That's a nice coat. This is one of my favorites. 
fun. It's a little oh. raggedy. I immediately incite Nyla. <laughs> <laughs> Go yeah, ahead. Same, so I'm gonna do it too. How do I roll? Uh, you roll um, persuasion. Oh shoot! Um, it's either persuasion or deception. It's deception if you're lying. Technically, yeah, she's or... lying. So yeah. Oh guys, I have the disadvantage thing. Uh, that's, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you don't think I didn't do that on purpose? Right? No. Oh, I pulled two fifteens, you guys. Okay, so fifteen plus six. Math. Is that twenty one? All right, so um, Hildegard and Coleman, you're just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Um, uh, Zani, you're kind of looking, you, you kind of get that she's, her eyes are kind of shifty a little bit. She's like, yeah, 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 whatever, like that, kind of given that, that, um, just like she's blowing everybody off, changing the subject real fast, that kind of thing. I'm surprised that you're that quick to lie. I thought we were friends. Oh shit! Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? I understand if you don't want to talk about it, but I'm a little hurt that you don't. It's okay. Sorry. It's sometimes I blank out and I don't know what's happening, and it's embarrassing. So I just don't. Does, I, yeah. Does that have well, something to do with the voices? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Because yeah, we were all there. We heard. <laughs> that. Uh, what you? <laughs> Do you think she actually has any sort of credit here? She didn't have anything to say about Reuven, so I don't believe that. Do you believe what she was saying about all that? It's right about else. About what? At least me. She was right about me. Least. Hmm. She knew my grandmother's name. I don't think she was lying. Parlor tricks. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's you say that chance, but in my tribe, there are many people who can do some things that are like that. I've seen things like that before. Yeah, no, I've seen them too. They're in alleyways and port towns, all reading futures, grubbing their fingers together, trying to make some coins, mate. No. Uh, but she cold. didn't ask us to pay, did she? Uh, I don't know what her game is, but... Oh, I don't know. I'm... I'm gonna go ahead and cast Zone of Truth. Oh, <gasps> mean! Oh, <laughs> oh damn! So, we all make wisdom saving throws. Um, we are all aware of the effect, by the way. <laughs> yeah. What's wisdom yes. saving throws? You can, you can decide not to talk, but you just lie. Okay. All right, go ahead and roll it. Uh, yeah, everybody. Yag as well. Oh my god. Yag death. <laughs> Taking all the advantage, that's a massive fail. Oh, uh, let's see. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I got 17 on the die. All right, so uh, how does that work? How does that look? So you, you, you grab a holy symbol, cast a quick spell. So what happens then? I'm just going to... That... So it's ten, uh, ten minutes. Oh, sorry, charisma saving. Oh, dang it! A, okay, I got to oh, roll sorry, again. Yeah, it's charisma. <laughs> okay, we'll see how this goes. But we have advantage because oh, of the okay. hot spring. That's, 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 that's much Not better. Nyla. Nyla. No, Nyla I have disadvantage. disadvantage. <laughs> okay, this time I got... What's your spell save, do you see? Uh, 14. Okay, 16. <laughs> so, what if I have 14? Did I fail? Or did I make it? 
I think I'm. I think DC is 14. You fail, right? Or is DC what you you have to hit, meet or beat, right? She succeeds. Yeah, yeah, meet oh, or beat. No, I don't think. Attack goes to attacker. <laughs> Still, you got you guys are aware that I casted that, but you just uh, you're not under the effect. Chances though. Yeah. No, because he's he, he has advantage. He was one of the uh, the he didn't ah, have disadvantage. So yeah, he he they all made it. Okay. So, oh, all right. Look, I think we're all getting a little bit personal here. Nyla, are you okay? Look me in the eyes. Tell me you're fine. Yes, I'm doing great. Thank you. All right, and that's the end of that. Thank you. Now, if we're all ready, not done prancing around. Let's get on the move. We've got a long ways to Vanocki, and we still haven't met up with his mum. Arena uh, comes up, and she's kind of like got, like just a piece of the fabric from what Nyla gave her, and she's wiping the, the drool off of you, uh, Chance. So she just comes up and kind of wipes it off. Uh, uh, Chance, you notice that uh, she puts her hand like right on your your uh, peck. As she's doing it, like like rubbing your pack a little bit while she's kind of wiping the drool off of your shoulder. So, okay. Um, do I see that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like she's not doing it like like naughtily, but like she's she's almost being a little bit over <laughs> with over familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly avert my eyes a little bit. <laughs> Nyla kind of openly just sort of like looks away, especially because she was had to to watch that interaction. Yeah. So. All right, guys. So just because I feel really awkward, I am sort of going with like the impression I'm getting from Grace about how she wants to play around. Yeah. So bear in mind, yeah, like, no, no, you're fine. if yeah, I'm you're completely fine. off base, I apologize oh, to Grace. It all it all, you know, it all so makes like, relative sense. No, I think all of her characters are awkward too, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, you guys finish your, um, your short rest. You do a little eat. What were we going to say there? We should be moving on. <laughs> all right, so. I immediately changed the subject. All right, you guys eventually get out to uh, the old Stalic Road, and in the distance, uh, you can see the lights. Uh, quite a few miles down the road, maybe about two miles down the road, in fact. Uh, you can see uh, the lights through the trees of what appears to be a settlement. Cool. What y'all got to through all this interactions? Hey, <coughs> hey, Yorg is um, cleaning his pots and pans. food that everybody either loves or hates. <laughs> All right, so are you guys going to be doing any conversing on the way, or are you just kind of following along? Um, at one point, I wanted to... Um, I wanted to pull uh, Chance aside and like kind of like behind the group a little bit, maybe. All right, you guys are welcome to go on the clandestine if you want to do that, oh. as long as nobody's doing it. I will join you there, but that's up to you guys. Oh, okay. I mean, it, yeah, okay. I think it'll be fun. Yeah. You know, I, I think we're yeah, at that point in the fine. game where it's time to, time to start uh, sowing those seeds of doubt amongst all uh, of okay, you. Okay, sure, sure, sure. There, all right, all yeah, right. I'll ju let's jump over there. Okay. Uh, before I go, uh, go ahead and go, Nyla. Don't start until I'm there, okay? Okay. Uh, guys, are any of you trying to listen in? So I need to know, because, like, Nala's, y you guys notice if you want, roll a, percept a couple of perception checks. If you don't think it's something you would be looking for, then don't worry about it. Well, I'm going to... if they're being discreet about it, wouldn't they have to, like, roll a, a stealth check to hide their talking? Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess they would. I guess they would, actually. Let me jump in there and let them know to do that. Hey guys, real quick, I'm gonna jump back in the other room in a sec. 
Uh, real quick, each of you roll stealth checks. Yeah, I think oh. I'm I'll be right back. Oh. Even. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna they're gonna roll and then we'll. Oh, here chances. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> All right. Nyla. I mean, if they don't beat our oppressive perceptions, I guess then. I don't hear Nyla. N Nyla's like, you're going to hear one half of it. So, all right, so guys, I'm going to do my best when I come back to summarize what. 29, Jesus. To summarize what you guys hear, right. like, on a one sided uh, conversation, all right? Cool. All right, guys, so when I, when I come back, uh, when I go back to them, I'm going to try and summarize a one sided conversation. Kind of like somebody listening to, like somebody on a cell phone, and they can't hear the other half. So, all right, all right. So go oh. ahead. What what, what is Nyla like, trying to do? Okay. Well, I just wanted to like pull him aside and be like, "Hey, I got a question." Of course. What's on your mind? Okay. How do you know that you're doing magic? How did you find out? Well, uh, that's a bit of an old question, isn't it? Well, no. <laughs> I don't uh, think so. Well, it's not something I exactly learned. I, uh... Well... kind of thinks for a minute and he's like uh, I don't know it's just sort of feeling I suppose kind of like uh, something from the inside uh, I don't know hmm. okay it's not something I learned to do it's just uh, something that sort of happens oh so okay so it just happens? Right. I kind of when I feel it, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Did, did you see me do anything? I'm really fighting. Uh, I thought I maybe saw something. Okay. That was you? Yeah, did you see it came from me? That's randomly happening. Right, well, uh, we'll work on that. Okay, maybe, but uh, maybe there's something there. Uh, if we're ever uh, not busy and I don't know, resting or something, we can uh, we can experiment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. That sounds good. Good. Okay. Cool. All right. And, uh, Thanks. I'll head back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> you just you just cut into something. Well. <laughs> All right, so uh, were you guys role playing? Go ahead, do your thing. Hmm? Go ahead, finish yeah. up. It was uh, Hildy and Yag. What were Hildy and Yag doing while I was away? Uh, she just told him that she thought they had something. They had something what in common? I think that... What? Your mic, your mic cuts out kind of towards the end of your sentences, I think. Yeah. How did a... How did a cook... Get where you are in... And I don't mean here in... In this world, in this universe, I just mean... Who are, who are you? Oh, me. Um, I'm a wanderer. I got here because, you know, things happen. And I just couldn't stay. So here we are. And you're a cook that fights like a... Well, 
Yeah, I no never really made much sense, but it, it is what it is. It's two different sides, I guess. Cooking is a hobby I've taken up recently, you could say. Although, I did learn some from my dad back when I was a kid. Really? Yeah, supposedly he used to be a, a very good chef, although I hardly remember him. If you don't want to talk about No, it's alright. <laughs> but how about you then? How did you end up here? What's your deal? traveling about two years try and she's not for, for the others uh, for the others here I'm not uh, being stealthy like I, I said Hildegard wasn't trying to hide what she was saying nog eh, nog wow yog all right I left my home because I was exiled. Ah, you too. <coughs> See, I knew we had something. No, I guess you're all right. Tell me. You do. I. <laughs> I, I asked first. Ah, <laughs> uh, you did. Oh, well, I. I mean, you've seen me fight, and yes. as is tradition in my tribe, we uh, hold bites to see uh, who are stronger, essentially, um, all in good fun, usually. But you know, sometimes you just really want to win, you know? As the older brother, I couldn't, couldn't let myself lose. But I didn't lose the fight, but I guess in the end, what I actually lost was myself. Three dead tribesmen later, I'm wandering around. I took down three of them when they tried to pull me off my brother. And so I was told not to come back until I learned how to control my rage, and here we are today. I, that's my life story, how about yours? Alright, and in the midst of that horrible amount of chaos uh, and, and, and dark <laughs> dark uh sort of uh backstory here's what you guys hear you guys hear um you hear a little pss, 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 pss from nyla and then you, you hear the occasional answer from chance uh chance uh, you hear chance kind of say th things along the lines of well when you know you know don't you well i don't know i suppose i'm just good hey yeah Oh, you want to learn some, do you? Well, then that's fine. Perhaps when, we're, when we get some downtime and we can get a little bit of a break from the others, perhaps we can experiment some, yeah? All right, good. That's awesome. So that's what you guys hear, and I need a chance to take some inspiration. Yeah. So you hear the occasional uh, whisper from Nyla, uh, Nyla, and then she comes back to this um, this conversation that you guys are having. She's looking bright-eyed and, and bushy-tailed and kind of excited. Um, kind of like at the point crossed between like two different conversations, and I only hear that part. My face is like hardcore blushing. <laughs> 
and I'm trying my best not to look you in the eye. That's like child wrangling. Child wrangling. <laughs> I like you guys getting one half of the conversation there. <laughs> That's awesome. Chance, Chance, just... Chance just seems like it's like not not a, like nothing big at all. He's just kind of walking by, like <laughs> like, like he didn't. Really know anything. Yeah, what else? She's not very good at that, so she, you would probably notice that she is avoiding your gaze specifically. <laughs> Arena's kind of muttering to herself. She's kind of giving Nyla like the stink eye every now and again. What is Irina muttering? Uh, go ahead and roll a uh. Well, what's your passive perception? 21 and I can read lips. Oh, for Pete's sake. All right, well, uh, <laughs> you, you kind of get that she's like, should have acted faster. Have to act a little bit uh, more, more <laughs> forward, but I won't. I refuse to act desperate. You know, that kind of stuff. My face gets brighter red <laughs> as I continue to walk. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I feel like Chance is blushing for real, so. No, that's funny. I think, yeah, the chance he's just oblivious and everything. He's just walking around. Yeah, Nyla, like, I feel like Nyla is just sort of also oblivious, but if she sees Arena, like, getting pretty mad and glaring at her, she just seems, like, really confused. <laughs> sort of tries yeah, to, like, brush I, I won't say it's like, a glare. I'll say it's just more of a kind of a, she gets a little bit more uh, introverted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so through all of this, while you guys are kind of bonding and exploring each other's backgrounds, um, you kind of uh, uh, start to get get a little bit closer to uh, Velaki. The old Swalage, uh, Swalage Road meanders into a valley watched over by dark, broody mountains and, uh, to the north and the south. Uh, the woods start to recede, revealing a sullen mountain berg surrounded by a wooden palisade. Thick fog presses up against this wall as they're looking for a way inside, catching the hope, uh, hoping to catch the town a slumber. Is what happens when you read too far ahead. Uh, the dirt road ends at a set of sturdy iron gates with a pair of shadowy figures standing behind them. Planted in the ground and flanking the road outside the gates are about a half dozen pikes with wolves' heads impaled upon them. Ugh. Oh, don't that just look welcoming? I hate that. What a waste of perfectly good meat. Yeah. 